Today, Parker, AJ, and Lance will pose as a hacktivist group looking to bring down the evil corporation Wells of America, a bank with a notoriously unethical CEO. We are targeting an analyst within the company to gain initial access to the network, then moving to the system admin's machine to access contact information for, for the company's CEO, which will be the final exploit in which we gain access and traverse the file system looking for sensitive data. To accomplish these tasks, we will be using a social engineering method known as phishing, utilizing the SSH protocol, exploiting a web server, and abusing MSF Venom to create a reverse shell. Here, we run the ifconfig command to show that it is the IP of our pen testing machine. We can show later that our IP address changes as we gain access to other machines. We begin the attack using SC Toolkit, which is a penetration testing framework designed for social engineering. We chose this tool because we want to spoof a login page to harvest login credentials. This tool creates a fake login page based on a web template that can be sent through a malicious link. We can see the attacker's IP is entered to which the harvested information will be sent. Our credential harvester is now running on port 80. Our first target, Anna List, receives an email stating that her Gmail account has been compromised and she needs to verify her identity. When she clicks the Verify My Identity link, she is redirected to what appears to be a Gmail login page. When our target, Anna, logs in, her username, password, and IP are harvested and displayed in plain text on the attacker's machine. We now use these credentials to SSH into the target machine. Using the sudo-l, we find that a list containing the commands is available to be run as a superuser. We can exploit the less command and type bang sh to establish a root shell. After we use the whoami command, it displays that the user is root. Since our objective is to compromise the CEO, we need to access the contacts document, which is in the admin machine. Now we launch a ping sweep of the target subnet. We see two additional machines on the network, but how do we know which machine to target next? We can see a web server is running on one of these machines on port 8080. This provides us the opportunity to run a derby scan and traverse directories to find any useful information to get us into this machine. The scan shows a users folder with a user named admin. Typically, an admin account would hold some useful information, so breaking into this machine might be beneficial. When we open admin, we find a hashed password. After we navigate to the website CrackStation, one of the many web-based hash crackers, our commonly used password hash is easily decrypted. Now having the username and password, we can SSH into the admin machine. We list the directories and find a file named contacts, which we are unable to view as the admin user. In order to escalate privileges, we use the sudo less command and gain a root shell. Now we are able to cat the contacts file. The contacts file contains plain text contact information for every Wells of America bank employee. We use these first two victim machines for active recon in an effort to exploit the final target, the machine of CEO Gustav White. The final phase of our attack involves impersonating IT professional Chad Barker, a confirmed employee from Wells of America's IT department. We contact the CEO, claiming to be Chad, and tell him that a critical system update must be downloaded and installed. After much deliberation on how to execute the final attack, we chose this method as it is common and has happened in the real world when proper security fundamentals are not practiced at every level. We used MSF Venom, a command line tool that generates various types of shell codes to create a reverse shell payload and save it to a file named systemupdate.exe. We serve this payload on port 4444 and establish a listener on port 1337. When the CEO enters the IP specified by the attacker, systemupdate.exe is downloaded and run. The reverse shell is initiated and we now have control of his Windows machine as user Gust White. To demonstrate this, we navigate through the file system and access sensitive data. We've demonstrated how to successfully exploit a network of virtual machines using various attack methods, such as social engineering, SSH and web server exploits, and MSF Venom. One of the reasons why this worked is because out-of-date Kali boxes were used and files were stored in an insecure manner. We wanted to demonstrate how realistic it would be to execute this type of attack with these common vulnerabilities. This shows the importance of updating operating systems and encrypting data. Thanks for watching.